wanted to mention. Mm -hmm. This relates to classes and study groups when you uh, say, bring your, aware bring your awareness or attention to the air going in and out of the nose. Mm -hmm. And I sit there and I can really feel the air come in my nose. It's cold. It, it sort of has tentacles through the nose and further back, but I stop following it when it leaves the nose. Mm -hmm. I can't feel anything coming out, although I'm breathing out. That's okay. The nose. Yeah. The, the, the idea is to, to not like follow the breath. So it's not so much about like feeling it come in and out, but you're just trying to keep your awareness on the nostrils themselves. And as the air is coming in and out, you know, it allows the mind to be a little bit more uh, like fixated on that spot because there's like movement, you know, like sometimes when you're just like, you know, putting your attention on something that's inanimate, it's it's like your mind starts going, okay, this is boring. Uh, but when you start kind of paying attention to how the air fluctuates, um, you, you know, your mind has to kind of concentrate a little bit. And it's more about the concentration than it is really about the air. And, okay. and so, um, you know, if you can only feel it coming in or only feel it coming out, just pay attention to whatever you can feel. But the, the, the issue is keep it on your nostrils. Like, you know, okay. not okay. back, not feeling it come out. You're just, your awareness is on the nostril itself. Okay. And I do find that that, attention clears my mind of other stuff yes yes, uh, yes, yes. It, it gives it like you said it gives it something to pay attention to that gives you something to pay, pay attention to and actually the act itself you know because a lot of times we're doing body awareness and then if something bubbles up in the mind and then eventually we'll get to the nostrils and part of what that's doing is it's it's activating the blue pearl and light is coming in. And any time the blue pearl activates, it actually breaks down the, like it clears the mind and breaks down like um, repetitive thoughts or, or negative thoughts, you know, thoughts that okay. were some truth and then, and then there's some not, you know, it helps like just kind of break everything down. And so the act of doing that is um, like bringing clarity to the mind. You know, you're, you're, you're bringing light into the mental body. And so eventually it actually even comes into the physical body. But at first it's just coming into the mental body. And, and so, um, you know, you can do that for longer. Like when we're doing it in the past, it's one thing. But like if you're sitting and doing your practice, you can actually do it for much longer. But it's good to kind of keep cycling through the body, then the thoughts that bubble up in the mind, and then the the nostril. Because it's like each each time, you know, because you even when your awareness is on the nostril, like you're generating more light, and then you go into the body, and it's almost like you take that light down into the body. And then it kind of cleans some things up again and then something bubbles up into the mind. And so you just kind of keep doing those cycles because you're, you're doing a kind of purification on the mind body uh, connection and, and, you know, individually. And so, you know, stress, tension, thoughts, thoughts from other people, you know, projections from other people, all that stuff gets stuck in the body. And then it affects our physiology, it affects how we think and feel and, you know, affects our behavior. And so you, you're, you're helping to purify that. But one of, one of the, like the lessons, like in the Buddhist tradition, one of the lessons is, you know, there's whole meditations where you don't even do all the other things. You just sit and you're aware of your breath like that, of the nostrils. And it, it's, it's kind of teaching the mind like how transient everything is, like how things shift, how things change. And, and any, anytime you're focusing on the breath, you're accessing the unconscious. But anytime that you kind of put your attention like on the nostrils or the, or the nose, it actually is activating to the blue pearl, but it also starts to move Kundalini up. And so it has a cleansing effect. It has an activating effect on the energy centers. It's, it's fortifying to the mind. Um, 
So it, it seems very, very simple, but it actually, uh, if done, done repetitively and, and, you know, given, given like its full attention, um, it, it actually can be quite profound. You know, it, it, as simple as it is, it can be quite profound. It's interesting you say that about awareness and allowing things to be transient. Mm -hmm. is that the class this weekend was very profound. Mm -hmm. I can't put words to it. I can't yeah. describe <laughs> it. I, and I know that if I even tried, the changes would slow down or stop. Like it's locking mm -hmm. it in if I put words to it. So I'm just letting it go. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's 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 truly, I mean, like the Sandalphon class was all about working the form. And then Metatron was working essence. And like that, that's the thing. Like when you walk away from it, is like essence is hard to define. You know, it's this fluid thing that kind of comes in and and shifts and changes everything and and you know accelerates evolutionary processes in the body, the emotions and the mind. And it's usually what's happening is much greater than what you're perceiving in the moment. Because, you know, some of it's your physiology, some of it's in the unconscious, some of it is, you know, we're only seeing in what's in front of us and we're not seeing how it's going to affect us in a week when we interact with certain people and, and or situations. And so, yeah, the it's based on a practice that I've done for a very long time and I've taught in certain circles um sometimes i teach it with oils and sometimes i teach it with like holy names um i find the oil version is um like stronger like stronger is maybe not the right word it like it integrates a little bit faster like when you do it with just holy names it's strong, but you have to do like some sort of like purification afterwards. Like you have to work with a purba or, you know, you have to do healing or you have to do lots of different baths and, you know, um, all those things where when you do it with the oils, like when you walk away, you're kind of done. Like, you know, there's going to be something happening, but it's, it's, you know, the shifting is, is happening, you know, it's, it's in, in the works where when you do it with the holy name, um, oh, you expel pretty hard. You, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's pretty pretty intense. And um, you, you have to do something to like diminish like the congestion that happens afterwards when you're not using the plants. And so I, I that's why I was so excited about like, you know, doing this class with you guys was like, it was a good solid way to do it. And we're still going to do the holy names at some point, but doing it with the plants, even that makes it easier. Like, you know, it just makes everything easier. And so some, sometimes some of the circles, you know, because I interact with other organizations and stuff too. And, uh, you know, they have me come in and do things. And so um, with them, I'm limited by what, what I can teach because of their modality. And so right. if they're not working with plants, I don't talk about plants. You know, I talk about working out in different ways, but for, for me, I think the plants make it the easiest. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Class. You're so welcome. Yeah. It, it was a great class. Like it was, um, you, you know, even for me teaching it, it was, there was a lot of energy moving through, you know? Yeah. And a lot of the classes, I tend to get very tired in them during mm -hmm. the class and after the class. This class, I was like ready to go and do things. And Sunday oh, night, I went you. over to a customer for a couple hours and I felt fine. So yet I knew things were moving and shifting. I could mm -hmm. feel differences that I couldn't put words to, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I think some of the best stuff is are the things that we can't really quite put the words to. It's the stuff we really need. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's a great way to say it. Thank yeah. you, Greg. You're so welcome.